Max Answers, Anthony and Rose. Today is Tuesday, and for those of you who are new to the channel, you might not know what that means, but that means it's Two Step Tuesday. We post a new Two Step pattern here every Tuesday. Today's pattern is actually pretty cool. It's a novice to intermediate level uh, variation. So we're calling this the elbow and shoulder catch variation. You're gonna like this one. It's easy to do, looks pretty cool, so stick around. but before we do if you're new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below also that little bell right next to it go ahead and push that so you'll be notified whenever we upload a new video all right you ready to break it down let's do it let's do it all right so we're going to demonstrate the pattern and then we're going to break it down starting with a basic for quick quick slow slow outside turn to a shoulder catch back in now the elbow catch we're going to come around for a partner pivot to a promenade position for an inside turn and finish. We'll show you that again from this side. So basic step for quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, and quick, quick, slow, slow. All right, guys, along the way, we're gonna be talking about some stuff that not only applies to this pattern, but to other things too, okay? So take the time to actually learn the little things we're saying and think about how that applies to other stuff because that's really what's important. It's not just the step or the what, it's also right. the how. Yeah, that's and a lot of students, when we teach them, they're really eager to learn all the cool stuff because who wouldn't? But it's those basics, if you go ahead too fast, you don't think it's that important to learn those basics, it's gonna start messing you up later down the road anyway. So yeah, I mean, the more advanced basics. patterns are gonna be much easier for you guys if you understand the stuff that we're saying now because it's just gonna be the same stuff, right? Yep. So if we're gonna start from here in this closed position, the first thing, quick, quick, slow, and on that second slow, we're actually gonna go ahead and take her to the outside. We actually do that by rotating our body. And if you think about this on a larger scale, I would just take her around and then kind of walk in a circle. It's, it's kind of that concept. We just do that on the second slow. We really wanna avoid going quick, quick, slow, cocking her back and then sending her. That actually is not gonna be nearly as smooth. We're gonna make that much softer, much easier by rotating the body on the second slow. So we'll go quick, quick, slow, take her to the outside on that slow. And now that she's got that motion, we're gonna continue that motion to do this shoulder catch, okay? So let me show you, let's break this down on the shoulder catch itself. All right, so if we watch this from this angle, we have quick, quick, slow. And then on that second slow, we begin to take her to the outside. So notice I'm on the inside rail, she's on the outside rail. And now that she's gotten that motion, I'm gonna picture that halo that goes around her head and circle that hand around. But watch when I catch her, that's quick, quick. I'm gonna catch the hand on the first slow and then extend it out for the second. So we've got to receive her, not catch her. All right, you know, even though it's called a shoulder catch. So we're gonna actually receive that shoulder so we have that second slow, and then we have quick, quick, slow over top, and then we extend that through. And notice that I take her hand behind her head, all right? So it's not still out here in front, we're actually extending it from there. All right, so from this position, now this hand is behind her head, but we're gonna circle it back over that halo for just a second, and then we're gonna bring it down and behind her back. Now, the important thing here is that I keep my alignment in relation to her. So once we've gotten here, she's in front of me, I take her to the outside rail on that second slow. Now she's on the outside, I'm on the inside, and I'm slightly behind her. I keep me in relation to her in that position, and when I bring that hand down again, I'm still in that same spot. So let me show you this hand position here close up. All right, so Rose is forward on her left foot, I'm forward on my right, and from here, we're gonna circle that hand back around her head. I'm gonna use that shoulder just a little bit where I've got my hand on her shoulder to actually redirect her, and then I bring the hand down. At this point, I've got my hand down, and I'm, she's gonna continue to rotate until I put that hand back into that position behind her back. We want that to be really close to her. We don't want that to be back here. That's actually kind of painful. So if we watch that from here, She's forward on her left, I'm on my right, that's quick, quick, slow, and then we're gonna go quick, quick, slow. 
All right, so we just placed her in this position. I'm now gonna redirect her again. So what we have up to this point, when she starts turning is quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow in that point. So now I'm gonna receive her elbow this time with my right hand. So I'm still in this alignment. I'm gonna take that hand, start to rotate her body with her hand staying down, but then I'm gonna catch her over top of her elbow here. So what we have is a quick, quick, slow, slow in the beginning, and then we're gonna have quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. So we have quick, quick, slow, slow, and now we have quick, quick, slow, slow, but watch this, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. All right, so we're in this position now and all of our momentum is carrying this way as we go into this pattern. And now we're gonna send her back the other way. We've gotta keep the hand down low. We don't wanna bring the hand up, that's gonna be ouchy, right? So we gotta keep that hand down low and then we're gonna receive that elbow as we go through. Now. So we wanna receive it on the way through before we have to catch it right at the end. So I'm keeping this hand down low, and as soon as that elbow, now it's not directly her elbow, it's in between her shoulder and her elbow, and then we're gonna receive that and send that through. Now, if we watch this from the other angle, all right, so I'm keeping the hand down. As soon as her upper arm presents itself, I'm catching her in between her elbow and her shoulder, and then I'm just gonna extend that through and across her chest. And ladies, make sure that you keep a really good amount of tension in this arm. When he goes to grab that, make sure that you're pushing into that and helping that connection, not coming into here, because that's really common and it's called noodle arming. It happens in a lot of patterns. So make sure that you keep a good amount of tension there so he can feed off of that to lead you into the next thing. All right, so let's just show you what we have up to this one. We start with a basic for quick, quick, slow. We take her to the outside for slow and straight timing again for the shoulder catch for quick, quick, slow, slow. Now we have that alternate timing of quick, quick, slow, catching the elbow, quick, quick, slow. Now we're back to straight timing. Now we're pretty much level with her here because the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start working my way around. I'm gonna use the energy and the compression that she has in that upper arm to turn her going to her back for quick, quick, so I've gone from her elbow to her back. I've passed her at this point because now I'm gonna bring her to me and step around her as she steps in between my feet. This is where we're gonna do the partner pivot. So if we watch that from this angle, we're in this position. I'm gonna start progressing past her for quick, quick going to her back. Now I'm stepping around her. I'm basically doing a rotation here so that she's stepping in between my feet. Now that I've got this rotation, I'm just gonna continue that through so that I step in between her feet. That is probably the most difficult part about the pattern. It doesn't look like it, but that for beginners is gonna be the part you probably wanna spend the most time on. So if we're here, we're going past her for quick, quick going to her back. I'm gonna step around her as I bring her to me with my hand that's on her back. She goes to my rib cage or right around where I have her. I step around, she steps in between my feet, and I use that rotation of my body to then turn as I step in between her feet. And followers, make sure that you're not leaning into him, right? Give right. him a nice little hug. Make sure that you're Which also- Which I appreciate when she does, <laughs> by the way. Counterbalancing, right? So don't lean in. Make sure that you're kind of having that resistance, like that ring around the rosy, mm -hmm. right? So you can get that good rotation. Yeah, so if we have counterbalancing, that partner pivot is gonna work so much better. So she's saying take the tension away from each other. Think of like water in a bucket and you're holding it. And if you swung it like this, you want the water to stay in the bucket because you've got that centrifugal force. So if we're in this position, I'm bringing her in as I step around her. I've gone to her back. I'm stepping in to her or around her for slow. Now she's gonna have this leaning away from me. She's taking her hand that's on my back and my hand that's on her back. We're kind of leaning away from each other as we use that to rotate through. Now, after we rotate through, you'll notice that my feet are in between her. I'm gonna keep facing down the line of dance as she continues to rotate open for quick, quick, slow, slow into that prominent position. So let's show you that again from here. So that's quick, quick, slow. And then we have quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. And then it's just a basic inside turn. So let's show you that from this side. So if we're here, we're gonna step quick, quick. I'm passing her slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow and inside turn to finish. Okay, if you guys have questions about this for real, leave them down below. We respond yeah. to everybody. If you have suggestions, if you look through, you'll actually see in the comment section, sometimes people give us suggestions and then we see it and then we say, that's a great idea. We either answer the question or we'll actually produce something on that because we really want to do what you guys want to see. So 
Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. We'll demonstrate this to music and then you're on your way. All right, so from the shoulder catch, we're now gonna send her the other direction. <laughs> I'm not gonna be the monkey. And a quick, quick, slow, slow, and a quick, quick, slow, slow, and a quick, quick, slow. All right, slow. come on, let's do it.